What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jemiah's World. And right now we're going to be talking about a rare W with EA Sports, but it does come with a few L's, but we're going to go ahead and discuss a lot of the things that you guys are asking about the AKA program. Now, the one thing that I'm going to give them some credit for, they did drop the promo on time. Uh, you guys know that it's been a long time since we've had a promo drop when they say it was going to drop, like at the 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, situation like that. I will show you something that has gotten a lot of the people in the uproar, uh, the training, right? So they give you the option to get 187 for 5,000 uh, training, right? Many of you guys are very upset that it's not a re-roll, but I have to tell you this, right? Some of these players right now have leveled out to about 500K, and I know that that's still a lot of coins for a lot of you guys, but with the current price ranges of what we've been dealing with with the Legends, for a 90 overall right now, in my opinion, with the grinding and the things that you get throughout the game, you're gonna have to figure out a way to be able to put together that type of currency. When it starts costing a million plus, I am with you. It's disgusting, it doesn't make sense, especially when the cards don't do what they're supposed to do. So I totally understand that. Uh, that's one of the things that I wanted to point out though, as far as that training aspect, that's definitely something that I don't like, that they just make it repeatable. And don't give anybody anything and then make us complain about that. But when you give us one and the value doesn't make sense, it creates chaos because, trust me, many people will just sit there for hours doing rerolls and being happy that they got something that's suitable for a set. All right? So now look, the next thing that we're going to talk about is the actual price ranges of the cards. And then I'm going to go to the challenges and show you what's going on with that. All right? So when you look at the price ranges of the cards, the way that they did it, uh, did this this year, it's kind of weird because you have to actually use these 82s and the lower overalls to power up the 90s. I know, it sounds weird. We'll get to that soon, all right? So with the 90 overall cards, right? You can see Mike Dicker, we already knew he would be cheap. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, that price range is about right. Um, some of them, people were sniping for about 500K, but Mike Dicker, nobody's really, he's not really a card that anybody cares for because he, he doesn't really serve a purpose. He's shorter than obviously, you know, Casper, and Casper's just running around doing whatever he wants. Um, you know, Dallas Cowboy, Bears, Eagles, all that stuff, you know, get him to an 89 speed, but he's not, I don't think realistically with the way the game plays, that he's one of the guys that anybody will be excited about. Even, even if you're a Bears fan, in this game, he's not really mossing uncontrollably with that 6'3". So now that the prices have gone, they're going up a little bit. Uh, they, they, were as, they were as low as about 500, 550, but these cards are actually really good. Marshawn Lynch is unbelievable right now. And if they keep doing this for the AKA promos, the way that they've done this, what's going to happen is a lot of the legends by default are gonna be a lot cheaper. Because the only reason that, let's go check Herman Moore's price for example. He might still be a little bit expensive, but he, once they drop Calvin Johnson, AKA Megatron, you gotta be careful with what you spent for these cards because the AKA promo could be the W that we need. Look at this, the 90 is a million coins, right? So you, you can see that people are not really buying into the whole Legends. I think they did a horrible job with the way that they you know produced the Legends, the power-up simulation, everything about it, adding the additional cards, I think it's completely unacceptable and maybe something they gotta go back to the drawing board about or make it make more sense because powering up those legends is just way too costly. But I'm just giving you guys the example of what the AKA is gonna do to legends going forward. So we may not want to invest as heavily in certain legend weekend promos as we would have in the past simply because of the AKA promo. Now, let's go check the sets out real quick. Um, there are a lot of different ways to do things. They got, you know, various sets to make the 82s, make the 87s, uh, things like that. Um, I'll show you that right now. I don't believe at this time that they have the uh, the token the token set because you're gonna be able to go ahead. Would, would this one be it? Oh yeah, these are the tokens. Okay, so you get these tokens from playing the challenges. Um, I'm gonna show you guys that right now. And um, you know, you'll be able to get a, your choice of an AKA player. This is what's interesting, right? This might end in about, I guess, because if you're, you're doing like six, I guess you're gonna go six, six, probably like six weeks. You may be able to get a free Megatron. All right, just think about it, or any of the other cards that you get, so that's not bad. Plus you have the 82s and the 87s. So in my opinion, with this current promo, they've done a decent job of trying to balance out the market, all right? I, I'm not gonna complain about everything they do because they, they do a lot of wild stuff and I'm gonna call them out on it when it's wild. I was able to get all three of these cards instantly at, you know, once they dropped.
So we can take a look at some of the numbers really quickly so you guys see what's going on. And I'm going to show you, Beast Mode is just unbelievably ridiculous. That card art, let me get a W in the, in the chat for that. that. That card art is crazy, but he's a 92 speed. But this is what I was saying. To power up the 90, you got to put in the 82, and then you got to put in whatever that other one is, the 87. Um, the 87 you get back when you complete the set for these players. So if you just buy the card outright, you will then have to buy another 87. But if you complete the set, you get the 87 back as a BND, all right? And what it does is you can see it lessens the amount of AP that's needed for specific attributes. And that's how that works. So pretty much for all three of the cards that I got right now, um, you know, this is the way that you power them up. So don't be confused about it. I have to make sure you guys understand the 90 is the card. So like, you know, usually the lower overall card is where you powered up from. In this case, you're adding the other things to it uh, from starting from the higher overall card. All right. So that's something that I wanted to make sure everybody knew about so that it wouldn't surprise you. Also, he gets the bonus of getting, a, um, you know, one AP pick artist when you add his 82. All right. And uh, Night Train's numbers, they look pretty good. I think he's very, very, you know, exciting. Um, he makes great plays for me. Uh, you know, decent hit power. Um, he's not going to make the body fumble, but 89 is not bad on the corner. All right. And then obviously uh, with Fitz Magic right now, he's just throwing lasers. I honestly think he's the best quarterback in the game right now. Uh, we can debate it, uh, but he gets that set feet lead and identifier for four AP. So it kind of works. And that ball does come out fast. If you guys wanted to know about the set feet lead, it absolutely does come out fast. And that's without his gambit uh, being activated. Also, he does get Legends Chem. Because uh, some of you guys were asking about that as well. So just remember with the power up aspect, you start with the 90, then you add the 82, then you add the 87. If you complete the set where I showed you in the binder, you get the 87 back as a BND. All right. So that's very, very important that I, you know, I just want to make sure you guys understood that as far as the promo goes. Now we're going to jump over uh, to the challenges. Um, it's three challenges per player, I believe. All right. At the end of every third challenge, you're going to get a token. So that's how you get the token. For those of you guys that were worried about it, I wanted to make sure I get this out to you ASAP. So you should have a total of however many is here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So we got to figure about six weeks of this. We'll be able to go ahead and, um, you know, get those tokens in and get one of the free players. So we can estimate that this might lead us into it might actually merge in. Uh, with the most feared promo, which is kind of weird unless they do something where they up it so that this can be done Way, you know way before the most feared because you know, we're very very close uh, to October And then finally with the last part that I have a problem with the field pass There is nothing in the field pass for this um, There is no house rules. There's nothing to help us get more XP um, That's a problem. Okay, this is this for me is an L they should have had more options for us to get more uh, XP uh, and keep it going. All we're getting right now is daily XP. Not cool to drop promos without giving us an option to continue to get XP throughout the program. Those are pretty much my issues with it, but overall, I think you guys can build your team relatively easily uh, with some of these new additions. I think so, in my opinion. Um, if you're having issues with it or you don't understand what's going on with the promo, let me know and I'll be glad to kind of give you some insight, but I think this kind of helps what most of you guys have been looking for instead of buying michael vick and powering him up and spending two million get a nice card for about 600k vest in that card until he sucks and then get rid of him i want to thank you guys and girls for watching you guys go ahead and have a blessed day i'm going to see you guys and girls next time one love y'all